Greetings. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Glauchestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Glauchestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Glowchester. You will find him there. There you are, Gunnar. And with a smile like I haven't seen in some time. Eivor! Over here! Eivor! Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have! This Valkyrie right here, Bridget. My own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Mavendin da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anon. Conan helped Drews me. Bridget man power the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours. If our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air seek a gumpas gillu. A tavor gal, cleese sound. Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. <laughs> Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, 
This is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I am here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your lands safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks. Only hospitality. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry! So, you've come to meet the family, before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winds of frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around... It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? 
Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? That was close. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. Eivor! There you are! Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were casted by a group of boars. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunan, and that spat cuck Tefter lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal anvil has spread you on creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Clara Shester gives her glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louved. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louved, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I heard your voice, clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. That house for sure. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sow in night and the moon is high. Mary Lewid haunts my door.
The air is chilling, and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit, take your reward. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle scald. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. I have come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. To its dwelling, face foretelling, it's the Mary Louis. Well done. Ah, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. <sighs> Eivor, mighty warrior, knocker of doors, victor of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is freely given? A worthy haul, and a tradition worth keeping up. Good! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes! Sweet as honey, Gunnar! You should see this! Gunnar! My cakes! You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers, winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ and Tor. Four spears! My leg! Gunnar! Beunavalis! Enough! Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tefter becomes elder men. Is Dean a fool? Regardless of who said poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I'll give me strength. My mom modern is known I'm a humor toish gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Mary and try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. <laughs> <laughs> 
That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. The elder With bitter. Eivor, there you are. Tefter, you're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwilim. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Abbey, babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearths and humid eyes, it is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Keep on! The honor of Glowichester is at stake. I will not leave these lands to one who laps at ale like a cat! That's foul! Come, lad! The leader of Glowichester should hold more mead than that! Babes in arms drink a hogshead of ale faster! Drink, man! Drink! Come on, lad, show the dame your muscle! Merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A true father sacrifices himself for his people. Gives his all, his blood and flesh. A great honor, but a sad fate. Hmm. When you speak these words, it reminds me of the Christ. Aye, lad. Now you can see how a man like myself sees the value in both. A toast, then. To Elderman Coonan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. What is this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> This'll work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. 
They will speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Very, very nice. I think I might like you even better when you're me. Tefter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah. The greatest, greatest oath, and the greatest union. To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? This way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. Uh, you seem magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. I feel warm. Do you feel warm? Always warm here. It's a wonder you don't walk around naked. Yes, um... Well... Come on in. Tefter! 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 Where are you? breath. What happened last night? Uh, and the effects of that draft still cling. Lefter, are you here? Bodyguard. Killed by knife. The spot has been broken and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefters, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. This 
God's muddy God. footprints. Someone was hiding back here. Open this door. Come out there. What's this? Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. Why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached that side. They jumped from the shadows to kill his bodyguards. And to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. There he is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevdor's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevdor gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! If they see me, this will get messy. Business. Poor lad. I came as soon as I heard. Tefter is missing. Murdered. By those visiting Danes, no less. It's true what they say. Soulless killers, the lot of them. There's murder up ahead. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunan's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you... I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
Continue. That must be the home of the droid. The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Halwin said that the Wickerman must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Uh, a Wickerman speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. Another. Let there be cacophony. One more, one more. They roar. Do you hear them? A chorus of fire! That should be the last one. Back to the druid. Speak to me, O oh wind. I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. The dagger is placed upside down. A hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets.
This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death. Stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes, such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The skull soul's charm. Summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion I speak to druids long dead. But of course you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodrin. Kuth Lodrin? <clears throat> Very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Kuth Lodrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby. I can see Modern ahead. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodrin, name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Lodrin is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You do not have to trust me. Tefter's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. This forest, and all of Gloucestershire, feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is all magic. <laughs> magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch. Open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes.
Kufladrin, a thief's warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Guards here are vigilant. Shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kurnan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepner. Then he should demand it back. Shit sales haunt you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kurnan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Tefter killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to lie, having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing. To... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move, fool. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together. Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. The slot has been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Help me! Give a good heart. Lord Jesus, Thank please you. help me! When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon, he ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness, under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces, it matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's hot to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claimed to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute, then. 
Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefta. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Snake tongue. Eivor! <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefta is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? In an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Avar. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Mother? Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modern. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenith, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. Chanting. It's faint, but I recognize Mordron's voice. The mother is communing with the gods on this most holiest of times, and we're stuck guarding the door. I'd rather be out here, in case the ritual goes sour and we end up as a meal for the gods. Wet 
and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron, stay your blade. Die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes, and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe, and the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon, if you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. <laughs>